All right, if you're falling into fall, that's like, you know, like a little play on words Thank there. Thank you for explaining. You're welcome. I what, needed that. What better way to celebrate than with an autumn charcuterie board? Very good. Th th I've been practicing. <laughs> Our Lauren Richardson met up with Make Food Lovely to find out how you can make a fun board at home. Take a look. Hey everyone, I'm here today with Emily Love from Make Food Lovely. Hi Emily. Hi. And we are going to be making a fall charcuterie board. Yes. I'm so excited about this. So let's talk a little bit about the elements going on here. Okay, so with all of my cheese boards, I always follow the exact same steps every time. It's a cheese by number situation. So we start with the cheese, then we go to the meats, then we go fruits and veggies, and then we go to some dips, and then we start adding on all the fall goodies. Um, you will find any number of things, whether it is is maple leaf cookies mm -hmm. or maple candy or candy corn. Okay, so step one, the cheese. Step one, the cheese. So what we're gonna do is we are going, all four of these cheeses have different textures. So we have a hard cheese with aged Gouda. This is a camembert, so it's gonna have a bloomy rind, but it's gonna be really, really soft on the inside. This is a smoked cheddar. It's a soft cheddar, so sometimes when cheddars age, they might cut more like a Parmesan or an Asiago. A smooth cheddar is gonna be more creamy. It's more um, conducive to like a cube. And then the goat cheese, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting it into triangles. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to cut down the ramp okay. and try to cut at least like eight slices. Okay. So you're kind of doing like a twist and and cut. yes. So you take your wrist, you push down, and it crumbles apart. And this Got is it. the same thing that would happen with an aged cheddar if you did it that way. Mm -hmm. It's a little more architectural. It's a little bit more interesting to look at. Put the triangles facing each other, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then it becomes this great oh. drunken goat zipper. Um, and we can do that with maybe some of the pieces. And then with the other slices, what we can do is we can almost use them as a border. Okay, so now that was step one. Step one is the cheese, so the next is step two, and we have the meat, so. Okay. We are going to be, um, this is your second time doing this, so now you're in like the advanced level class. So I'm advanced. <laughs> you're advanced. Basically. So what we are gonna do is we are going to slice the salami. Okay. Um, this is a maple whiskey salami. Okay. Also got it from Spread Cheese Company, so very much in the fall flavors. And then the other thing that we're going to do is we are going to be making um, prosciutto ribbons. So you take the prosciutto, you lay it down lengthwise, nice. you fold it in half, and then what you're gonna do is you're just going, see? See, it's betraying me. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold the prosciutto oh, back and forth on itself so that it looks like a little ribbon. Okay, great. Okay. So, what's next? All right, so we're gonna do fruit. So Step three. Step is three is the fruit. fruit. So, we have some champagne or muscat grapes, which if every, if you have a little kid at home, mm -hmm. you have known the plight of cutting grapes in half so that your children don't choke on them. Yes. And from April to or September, quartering. this is every parent's hack. Okay. We also have some dried cherries. Okay, great. If you wanna put some dried cherries on, you're gonna kind of draw a Charlie Brown sweater all the way around. Right. And once you meet to the other side, you slide apart and you have these little fig flowers. Oh, let's see, did mine come out that way? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> or you have this wonderful fig <laughs> preserve. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, Lauren. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of take a few of the slices of apples, and you're just going to begin to fan them, and then these are going to be these little pops of texture and design oh. that we'll kind of see all over the board. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put some vegetables on the board okay. with, of course, our beautiful tricolored carrots. We have the rich purples. That is going to look so nice with all the rich purples we have on the board. We have the oranges and the yellow. And then what we're also going to add in is a very, very sweet little pumpkin. And then what we can do is we can just kind of like keep them right where they are and then just do alternate the colors. Okay. So yes. now we have the dips. So I have this caramelized fig pear and honey from mm. Blake Hill Farms. Um, also got it from Spread Cheese Company. So we'll just put that, we'll tuck that in the board. Okay, great. Um, we have two different types of nuts. We okay. have some cashew butter um, coated cashews. Yum. And then we have some truffle Marcona almonds. Okay. So a lot of my um, technique with nuts is to look around the board and find kind of where there's some empty spaces and fill them in that way. But how Yum. cute are these 
maple leaf cookies I love that. with that maple so cream perfect. in them. So what we're going to do so is perfect. we're going to make like a little maple um, leaf river kind of okay. going down. Okay. So you can just kind of keep piling them. Yeah. And then these are so cute. And then you have an edible accent. Wow, I mean, look how beautiful this is, Emily. You did such a good job, we Lauren. We did such a good we job. We did such a good job. <laughs> I really, really love it. I love all the colors and the textures. And so anybody can do this, right? You don't have to have any experience. Anyone can do it. I am not a chef. I have always joked, I am an arranger. I was just a mom trying to trick my kid into eating <laughs> anything. So I started putting things on boards and serving dinner on boards. And it really, you know, it, it didn't work. The first one, he doesn't eat anything. But like, I got all these cool skills out of this. I mean, it, it, it looks amazing. It's beautiful. And now I can't wait to eat it. Hooray. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Emily. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Let's fall. <laughs> Oh, so cute. Emily Love with Make Food Lovely also offers several workshops and classes all across the state and does different themed boards. For more information, you can go to her website, makefoodlovely.com, or follow her on Instagram at makefoodlovely. And let me tell you, she's a great follow. She's also a lovely person. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So